and subscribe. It's a big deal. <laughs> hey, kid. Did anyone see you come in? Yes. Now? Good, because today's story is top secret, classified, a mystery. A mystery! And we're gonna solve it! So, I hope you've got your fedora, a trench coat, some dark sunglasses, and an old-timey detective accent. We have one of those, and we look good. Good, because we're reading Beatrice Bly's Rules for Spies. Whoa! The case of the missing hamster? The case of the missing hamster. I want a hamster! Focus, Green Bear, we're on the case. On the case, on the case. Still want a hamster. And good news for you, you have top secret classified clearance. So, here we go. What awaits us? Mystery, intrigue, potentially danger. And we begin with what I believe might be the scene of the crime. Right there, this is a hamster cage. Do you see a hamster there? No. Beatrice Bly was no ordinary spy. Oh no, Beatrice was a super spy. She had the skills. She knew the rules. Oh, and here they are, the super spy rules. We should probably review them. Number one, never reveal your spy identity, but it is okay to tell your best friend. Hey, Green Bear, it's me, Tom the Dinosaur. Don't tell anyone. No, and do not reveal to anyone that I am Super Spy Agent Green Bear. Your secret is safe with me and yours with me. Number two, observe and write down everything. I find that a tiny notepad and a giant pencil do the job well. Number three, be quiet. That means no flip-flops or also clogs. And Beatrice had plenty of missions under her belt, like the time she took on Operation Wizard Cloak. And you can see right here, the little brother has his wizard hat, but no cloak. So Beatrice explored. She observed. She took notes in a regular size pad and regular pencil, which I guess also worked. And then she followed her spy hunch and nose and ta-da! Operation Wizard Cloak solved. Beatrice also solved Mission Mystery Squeak. Squeak, squeak. She's listening. Listening from over here. Listening from over here. Aha! Boom. It was Dad's right sneaker. Knew it. And she tackled Project Remote Control with ease. Oh, that's a tough one. Very tough, very common. So she looked under the cushions, nothing. And then she followed the dog who looked suspicious and <gasps> dun, 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 found it in the water bowl. And there she is, drying it off. Oh, will that work? Absolutely not. Oh. But Beatrice felt ready for even bigger missions. Bigger than Project Remote Control. Bigger than Mission Mystery Squeak. Let's see. The next day, Beatrice sprang off the bus, dashed into school, and walked at a super spy speed to her classroom. Record time, she said, checking her watch. Good morning, class, said Miss Leland. Before we start, I have some troubling news. We interrupt this book reading to bring you the latest breaking news. We apparently have some troubling news coming from outside Beatrice Bly's elementary school classroom. Let's go inside to hear the latest. Edgar, our classroom hamster, is missing. <gasps> Gasp, 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 gasp. And also, dun, dun, dun. The hairs on Beatrice's arms stood up. <gasps> A mission. He can't have gone far, Miss Leland said. Let's take a few minutes to look for him. And please, whatever you do, watch your step. Poor 
poor Edgar, said Beatrice's best friend, Nora. What if he's lost or stolen or someone let him out? A third grader did free all the ants from the ant farm in science last week, said Beatrice, who knows the latest. Wherever Edgar is, he must be hungry. We all love feeding him fruits and veggies, said Nora. What will he eat now? It's a wild, wild world out there, Edgar. We don't know how he'll fare. Don't worry, said Beatrice. I've been training for this my whole life. And she pulled out her notebook, which is easily twice the size of my notebook. And we have a perfect illustration of the missing hamster, Edgar. Hamster, fluffy, hungry, and most importantly, gone. Beatrice looked for clues. Can you even see Beatrice? Because she is a super spy. I'm going to let you see if you see her. She kept an eye on her classmates. And even though she didn't think anyone would steal Edgar, any decent spy knew that in the beginning, everyone is a suspect. And this kid's like suspecting this yellow Lego, but I don't think he did it. Meanwhile, did you see her? So hidden in the reading pillows, right next to all the kid time story times. Nice poster. She investigated the scene, the scene of the crime. She wrote in her notebook, unlatched door, mystery leaves. By the end of class, there was still no sign of Edgar. Keep a lookout for him today, said Miss Leland. I'll tell the other teachers. Meanwhile, everyone's face says, wah, wah. In PE, Nora said, I heard there's a fancy luncheon today in the teacher's lounge. How can they celebrate at a time like this? Yeah, and they'll probably have donuts. How can they have donuts at a time like this? I can eat a donut. We should probably investigate the donut. Good thinking, Doug. By recess, Edgar was still missing. And Beatrice went over her notes. Any luck with mission missing hamster, whispered Nora. Super spy mission, Beatrice whispered back. And no, nothing. Bummer. I even saved my carrots for him just in case. If you were a hungry hamster, where would you go? They looked at each other. <gasps> the cafeteria! Thankful she had her best spy shoes on, no flip-flops, no wooden clogs. Beatrice pulled her hair back, crept into the school, slipped on her sunglasses. Then, using her stealthiest spy moves, she slinked down the hall, which is beautifully decorated with Mrs. Smith's bookworms and butterflies and crayons. But before she got to the cafeteria, she noticed something familiar. Do you notice something that maybe doesn't belong here? Aha! Mystery leaves, said Beatrice. Then she saw she was standing in front of do, 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 the teacher's lounge. The luncheon, said Beatrice, but no students were allowed inside. Secret teachery things happen there. Yeah, like secret donuts being eaten, just as an example. Yet Beatrice knew she had to follow her spy instincts and any decent spy tracks down all leads, even though they lead to the teacher's lounge. Oh no, I don't want her to get in trouble. We can't go in there. We've got to do it, Doug. But, 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 no, it's okay because we're spies and we have other rules. I don't think we have other rules. She looked both ways, this way, this way, and peeked in. No teachers 
For now, she slid inside with her stealthy spy moves. Sure enough, the teachers were about to have a feast. Beatrice observed a sandwich platter, ding, balloons, ding, ding, donuts, ding, 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 and <gasps> Edgar! Oh, he was hungry and went straight for the fruit plate. Beatrice carefully placed him in her backpack, but <gasps> As she opened the door to leave, <laughs> Beatrice, ah, Miss Leland, everybody's surprised and jumping. Ooh, ooh, oh, it's okay, steady your heart. And oh, her sunglasses fell off. Why are you here? Is everything okay? More than okay. Look who I found. Oh, Edgar, thank goodness you're safe, said Miss Leland. Beatrice, how did you know he'd be here? He followed the food, and I followed a hunch. Well, I don't blame him, said Miss Leland. I took a few strawberries from here today, too, and even snuck a couple to Edgar this morning. Don't tell anyone, okay? If you don't tell anyone, I snuck into the teacher's lounge. Deal, deal, deal. Shake on that. Back in the classroom, Beatrice set Edgar in his cage, then closed and latched the door, click, and the class cheered. <sighs> this calls for a celebration, said Miss Leland. <gasps> Edgar and Donuts, said Nora. You're a pretty good spy, Beatrice. No, said Beatrice. I'm a super spy. Sorry, Taylor. I have a clue that I need you to write down immediately. Okay, okay, all right, okay. Got my tiny notepad and my giant pencil. Okay, what is it? Cream-filled donut with chocolate icing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And also write down strawberry cake donut with sprinkles. Okay, with uh, sprinkles. What are these the clues to? The missing donuts. You say the donuts are missing? Missing from our lives. Kid, looks like we got a new case to solve. And don't you worry about a thing because we know the rules to being super spies.